everyone, I got a request to do my How I Got Rid of My Acne slash skincare routine. Uh, I think it was a really good video to do because I wish when I was younger, when I was dealing with acne for three years, that I had someone to help me and guide me and give me tips to get rid of the acne and fight it. Um, so if you're interested in this type of video, please continue watching. Okay, just a quick lit disclaimer. I know everyone's skin's different and everyone's skin will re react different to different products, but um, I'm just uh, giving you guys an insight to how my skin was and what I did to improve it and help it fight acne. Um, I, sorry, my dog's right there. Um, I went, I started breaking out, you know, maybe around 16 all the way up to my early 20s. And, you know, I didn't know what to do and I was, you know, out there stressing out and really, really, um, I mean, when you're breaking out, you don't have a lot of self-esteem. You think that everyone's looking at your pimples and not looking at who you are and just worrying about what you look like. And, you know, I know how it feels. So, I mean, when I found something that worked for me, I stuck to it. And that's the key. I mean, if, some, if a product is working for you, you need to stick to it. I think I learned the hard way and I tried everything on the shelf. I tried everything. Um, at a drugstore. I've tried going to the dermatologist and getting put on medications and in my opinion it all just made it worse and when I finally stuck to something and um, let my skin uh, adjust to the products then I started noticing a change and I somehow stumbled across Clinique and they've helped me clear my skin and get it in control and I did um, tweak my routine a little bit to accommodate the cost because Clinique is really expensive but the products that I found work just as great as Clinique products. Um, my skin type is um, combination to really oily skin. I get really oily in my T-zone um, and I think us girls with oily skin have to deal with acne a little more than those with um, normal to dry skin. But um, I'm going to get started now and give you my tips and my routine and then at the end if I have the guts to I will put up a before and when I was breaking out picture and after when my skin has cleared up. So stay tuned for that. <laughs> First step um, is I think the most important step of them all um, and is and it's removing your makeup and getting rid of everything that you have on your face before you cleanse your skin. I mean a lot of people say that they have products that does it all in one job. I mean at the time I thought you know my, my cleanser is doing everything for me. It's removing my makeup, cleaning my face and fighting my acne which is not the case um, 9 times out of 10. I have not found that product that is going to do all of that and more in one, one single easy step. I mean maybe one day but at the moment no. Um, I think when I was growing up you know I never knew that and I would just use my um, cleanser and yes it had you know acne fighting solution in it and I was putting that on top of my makeup so it's like you know all, all that is doing and I only did once so all that was doing is just removing my makeup or at least getting some of it off but it wasn't cleaning, cleansing my skin and it didn't leave any you know acne fighting ingredients on my skin so big 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 importance is removing your makeup, um, whether it be makeup remover wipes, I mean a cleanser that removes it, anything that will remove the stuff off of your face, you need to do first before you even do anything else to your skin. Um, I use the Target Up and Up. It's a generic brand at Target and they work great. I haven't had any negative reactions to it um, and they're really affordable. They're $3.35 if I'm not mistaken and they remove my makeup and allow my cleanser to cleanse my face. So, I mean, if you do any step at all, do remove the makeup. At least you'll be going to bed with a non-makeup face. <laughs> so, um, make sure you remove your makeup. Step two would be cleanser. Now, um, with the Clinique 3 step, the first step is the cleansing foam, and it is medicated with salicylic acid. So if you have existing pimples on your face, I'd highly recommend to get something that has a medication in it so it can fight your existing pimples and get rid of them. And once you get rid of them, then you can switch out to something um, non-medicated just to keep your skin clear. 
Um, and what I've been using is the Cetaphil Daily Facial Cleanser. And this is basically for every skin type from normal to oily. So the only other skin it doesn't um, cater to would be dry skin. But they do have a gentle um, formula for dry skin. So like I said, if you are existing or if you have existing breakouts, um, get a cleanser with acne fighting solution in it. Um, if not, then you can try Cetaphil. It's amazing. I love this stuff. Step three would be a toner. Um, again, going with the Clinique three step, they have their, um, they call it the clarifying lotion. But basically it has a powder at the bottom and the solution at the top. You shake it up, take a cotton ball, cotton swab, whatever you use, and um, wipe it all over your face. Don't rub wipe um, gently and let it dry. Uh, the toner just gets your skin um, ready for the moisturizer to accept the moisture and th again this has acne fighting ingredients in it so it'll help fight your existing acne on the face. I still use this so I didn't trade it out for anything else. It works great for me. I have not tried a different toner besides the normal um, Clinique toner and it didn't work right for me so I stuck to this and um, it works great. So, toner. Step four would be to moisturize. Now, with the cleaning three step is the clearing moisturizer. I still use this um, to prevent my acne. And I put a thin layer of this all over my face and let it dry. Um, now, this is not all I use because, I mean, anything with acne ingredients, it does tend to dry your skin out a little bit. Um, so on top of that, after it's already dried, I use the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel. They do have a version of this for um, normal to dry your skin, and it's the lotion version. But you definitely want to put a moisturizer on top of your medicated moisturizer because yes you may have oily skin but you still need to moisturize it uh, if you don't have enough moisture your skin tends to release more oil and then you have more problems so definitely moisturize your skin afterwards now if I'm going outside um, even for a little bit you need a moisturizer with SPF in it um, this one specifically is even better skin correcting um, moisturizer it has SPF 20 in it and that should be the least you use um, for SPF. I've seen it as high as 50, as high as 75. So any kind of SPF you can get on your skin if you're going to be outside at the pool, definitely put it on. Definitely, definitely, definitely use an SPF before you go outside. Step five isn't necessarily um, or shouldn't be part of your everyday routine, or at least I wouldn't recommend it, um, but it definitely is really important and that is to exfoliate. Um, at the least you want to do it once a week. If you have more oilier skin, I'd recommend doing it at least twice a week, if not every other day. Um, again, you don't want to overdo it and um, irritate your skin. But the one I use specifically is the Clinique 7 Day Scrub Cream. Um, and if I don't use this, I use um, my normal cleanser with this little scrublet thing that comes with the L'Oreal 360 Clean. And I mean, you can have, if you have a Clarisonic, then definitely use that, but that's super expensive. So, for a different alternative, this works just fine and um, it exfoliates your skin and also cleanses your, cleanses your skin deeper than you would with your hands. So, definitely exfoliate away your dead skin cells at least once a week. Don't sleep with your makeup. <laughs> Oil free makeup. Non comedogenic. What he said, those type of formulas. Here's a list of them if you need some ideas. Choose wisely. All right, guys, that's it. Um, that's my normal skincare routine and my tips and tricks for you guys. If you have any other questions, please let me know. I hope that was somehow um, entertaining and somewhat um, helpful. But if you guys have any requests, leave them down below or send me a message. Please don't forget to subscribe. It means the world. Um, all right, guys, till next time. Bye. Don't sleep with your makeup. <laughs>